It's 9 a.m. And at the Capybara paddock, a surprise is in store for the keepers. There it is. One whole baby capybara, and we thought she had a whole family in there. You were fat enough for about 20. She's actually only presented us with one, so not all we expected at all. A single baby boy might not be what was expected, but Henry is soon changing the dynamic of the all-female group. Henry is such a bundle of little energy and fun. I think he knows that he is the only uh, baby in the group at the moment, so he is quite independent already. Capybara babies are precocial at birth. Precocial is, is basically the term you use for an animal that's very well developed. They come out running, keep moving, so they don't need to sit anywhere and get eaten by someone. Plenty of things that want to eat a capybara. Things like jaguar, um, caiman. Apparently they taste like fish. In South America, people eat them instead of fish on a Friday. Lily usually has litters of multiple babies but Henry only has adults to interact with. He doesn't have any litter mates. It does mean he hasn't got anybody of his own size to sort of play with or muck around with. I suppose it is a bit of a shame for him to be the only boy and no one to do sort of boy stuff with. And he's off there looking at the older girls, trying to hope that they might go and play with him, but they're all too busy having a natter, having a gossip, um, sitting around doing nothing, basically. They're busy being capy parents. Adult capybaras are fairly boring. Uh, they sleep. They like sleeping. They do a lot of grazing, so eating grass. It's a glorified lawnmower. With no one to play with, Henry is inventing his own entertainment. He has been seen sort of wandering away from mum. He's kind of having a little bit of an explore and he's pushing the boundaries a little bit. Creating his own mischief, if you like. But it's not long before Henry discovers that his older female relatives do have a fun side. They are semi-aquatic, so they're excellent at swimming. They can hold their breath underwater for ages. So they're quite well adapted to life around water. Once you get them into water, that sort of childhood play behaviour all comes back to the surface and they're diving in and out of the pool, swimming around, having a great time. So you can imagine that Henry's probably watching. He's probably thinking, you know, I want a little bit of that. But Henry needs his mum to teach him how to swim safely first. When you're younger, you do try a few things and they may not be the best idea. So Lily's got to keep an eye on him. She's got her hands full with this one, making sure he's not straying too far, jumping in ponds that he shouldn't be jumping into, that sort of thing. That could be sort of fatal for a little one. 